Actually, my goal for this year is to drink not more than four bubble tea slash Starbucks per week. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wait, your wow is that's a lot. Uh, that's a, a very um. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Lover. <laughs> Lover. <laughs> oh, this question doesn't apply to him. In bubble tea, right, they combine a lot of things. Like uh -huh. it can be like oolong milk tea, or uh, it can be like ya green tea. Yeah, then sometimes I'll be like, oh, I want post today, or I want are you jelly today, or I want aloe vera today, or I want. I just love it. Why do I like my boyfriend? I don't know. I just like him. So Wine. Excel is now bubble Ooh. tea. <laughs> For me, like for health reasons, that's why I really don't like bubble tea. And I think okay. sometimes, right, the flavors that they like kind of like create, right, it's a bit weird, leh. There's no nutritional value. True. It's high in sugar. True. The milk is not healthy milk. True. Overly priced a lot of times. It really is a trendy thing. I agree it's a trend for a period of time, right? But now I feel it becomes a lifestyle. Eh. I also yeah. understand why you love bubble tea because I used to love it, like Fun fact. I drink every day. Every day? Yeah, one every day. And my sugar level is like 150 to 200. I bo pian lor, just never drink. I think at most I will drink coffee siu tai. Still got sugar, but you know, lesser. Yeah. Until like, I can drink kosong already. How much is the cost of a small cup of green tea, 0% sugar, no milk? Probably about $3. About that, maybe? Okay. I guess three dollars. Um, I once spent nine dollar plus for months on Haiti before they dropped their price. But now I stopped already. Now I'm at the three plus to six plus range. If I really want to drink, right? I think three to five dollars. Oh shit. Yeah, like standard law. Yeah. Right. How about you? <laughs> I'm not like still or whatever. <laughs> but like, like for a week, uh -huh, I drink once a week. So if that's only one time a week, sometimes it'll be like seven ninety that kind. I think after the shoot to see your teeth will drop a bit. Ah, oh, no one. Plus, your body not used to this. God, it's yeah. like 10 drinks, eh? What the <laughs> heck? Today is bubble tea episode. Why are we drinking fruit juice? There's orange, lime, watermelon, passion fruit. I want to say this is a soup, not a bubble tea. It comes in a bowl. This is massive. The moment I take that sip, right, the passion fruit oh, went in. is so strong. Oh no. Why are you not responding to this? I thought you were like this. It just doesn't taste special. There's some bitterness. I know why they needed 50% sugar. Because there's so much of the rind. It feels like you're drinking a fruit juice instead of like a fruit tea. tea. I don't taste the aroma of the tea. Yeah. Right. Hey, but nice ah. Not bad leh. Not gaggable for me. Mint! <laughs> <laughs> Some of the like flavours from the passion fruit la. They kind of infuse the watermelon. I feel like the watermelon is the best part. So, guess the price of this property. One, two, three. Eight dollars. Five fifty. I'm gonna guess higher just because this is so big. Maybe eight dollars. This is nine eighty. <gasps> what the? F no, this is more expensive than Haiti's mango chizo before they dropped the price. No, nine eighty is how many copies this you guys can buy already? Maybe seven out of ten. It's nice, but minus one for sugar, minus two for price. I'm gonna remove my biasness. I am now still that actually likes fruits. Okay. I already said 6.5 out of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. To, to me, it's just a plus. Lah. Like, plus means I probably won't buy again. <laughs> yeah. So, below, there's a, there's a secret compartment. Oh my so god. So, pay you li means like. So, pay you li means like. <laughs> means you tear the cup, got present. Grand prize for this month is Armani's. What? what? Hey, let's pray for it. Oh, thank you. Let's start. Let's go. 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 Let's
Gucci ke le doi? <laughs> Okey lah, ya. <yeah. laughs> don't worry, Larry. It's right. not that sweet. Actually, I don't know what is it about the tea but from this shop eh. Like... It's very light. How come they give the straw so small? I cannot taste <laughs> anything. The white peach taste isn't very strong. But the tea taste though, the tea taste is quite strong. The oolong tea here, right, is not as strong as I usually taste it in other like dishes or in other drinks lah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, okay, oolong, that's all. <laughs> no, actually it's a peach. <laughs> 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 then if I just get some like peach syrup and mix it with fresh milk, then I would get this lah. But I always feel things that you make yourself don't taste as good. You know what? <laughs> Put me up to that challenge! <laughs> you know what annoys me here also? The freaking straw. <laughs> this one is like the hot... The, 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 yeah. You used to mix at Starbucks one. If the fruit tea can be 9 something, I'm guessing this is... 810. Like 7 dollars? 7.90? If this drink is improved and it's cheaper, like if it's like 5 dollar plus mm. range, maybe I'll consider it. I'm gonna give this... A 6 out of 10. I was gonna say 6 or so. 4.5. Wow, okay. Pass already. You see? Pass already. This the alcoholic is, is coming out. <laughs> Oh. I saw this before. I always thought it looked so fancy and nice. So the thing about signature coins, oh, yeah. right? They don't have the normal stuff that I want. Hello, it's called the uh, market segmentation, man. Mm. Wow. The whiskey taste is not very strong, but it has a very good hint. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that face. <laughs> What is strong? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But I don't think enough to make me turn red. It doesn't mm. taste like there's alcohol in the drink. For somebody who honestly do not actually really like alcohol, I can really taste the whiskey leh. You got two very different camps here. Mm. Um, what is the thing I, I, I eat you now? What I really like is the bits of crunchy things inside. It's like the chocolate cat thing. The like brownies eh. Personally, too sweet for me. It really feels like I'm drinking melted ice cream. <laughs> Okay, no wonder like it's like it's, a bit it's, on the creamier creamy. side. Right, okay. la. This really resembles like Bailey's. Let's get the price. 13. 11. 8 dollars. It is 9.80. Oh! The previous brand is what brand? I think they are overpriced eh. 8 but, but okay. okay, but it's alcohol, okay? Give chance. 9.50 <laughs> plus 150 is how much? 11 dollars. Plus oh. one more shot is like... $13. $12.50. You go outside, buy one cocktail, $18 eh. Wow. 8.5 out of 10. Wow. I think I'll go for a 7 out of 10. 6, 8 out of 10. 6.5. Sorry, this is an 8 out of 10 for me. Wow, the smell is strong though. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Oh no. Oh, I give shit, you the honor. I'm so freaking excited. Like you flower give tea. Do I need to do this? <laughs> Voila, I feel like I'm drinking perfume, man. Eh. Mm. Because the smell of the lychee is so strong, yeah. but I don't taste it. The lychee taste, yes. yes. The floral flavour, yes. I quite like this touch. I don't know how I feel about this one. Okay, to be honest, there's nothing to feel about this because <laughs> it's very normal. If you don't really like, you know, like drinks like chrysanthemum tea, ah, bandung okay, la, okay, all these it, things, right? Then you wouldn't really like this drink lab. Five to six dollars. I'm gonna guess seven. Seven fifty. Six thirty. Oh, hey, not bad, not bad, not bad. Wow, it's all about branding, eh? It is. It's just the branding. It is. Okay. One, two, three. Six. Seven point five. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to go for a five on this one. I am not fond of the headache inducing feeling. Same, I'm also gonna rate this 5 out of 10. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's Fen Hong Liu Xing. Fen Hong Liu Xing Chu Si Su. It looks like sunset! And tea! My At favorite uh, bubble tea brand. Really? Yeah, actually. When they first came to Singapore, then they had so many different fruit teas and I tried so many of it. I actually never heard of this brand before. Oh, okay. So, Ed Tea is founded by Celtic Tea. You know who's that? Yes, we have the same surname. Okay, there's jelly inside. 
is there like oh plum 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 oh no 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 the face it's okay, not okay. bad it's just damn interesting hmm okay I thought it will be very sweet <laughs> but surprisingly <laughs> it's more like fruity but with a tinge of bitterness it's got passion fruit inside I think it's got strawberry I wish it was a little more sour the fruit that they are using it's not citrus at all. Oh. So <laughs> there won't be any sour flavor. It is pink guava. Oh, god! Oh, guava! Yes, yes, okay. yes, 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 I know what you want to say, the rest. Interestingly, I quite like the guava yeah. taste inside. I right. just feel like it's not too basic. Mm. Huh? I love the jelly fruit pulp mixture. Mm. Oh, don't, I don't like the pulp mixture. I like the jelly. But I will go for 0% sugar. I feel mm. like the pink guava, right, is sweet enough already. You should be careful when drinking this because you might choke. Cause it's too long. Mm -hmm. mm. Six fifty. I'm gonna guess seven fifty. Uh, eight dollars. Whoa, whoa. Taiwanese artist open one. <laughs> eight ninety. Seven fifty. It is six ninety. Eh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fast. <laughs> I think it's reasonably priced with the ingredients that they put into it. It's yeah. quite a few stuff. Seven. seven. Oh. <laughs> we have the same feeling with this drink. Yeah. Yes. 8 out of 10. Oh, I will give it a 9 out of 10. Mm. Cream cheese foamy genmai cha. <gasps> okay, okay, relax. Cream uh, <laughs> roasted black tea. I only discovered Get My Cha recently when I went to Japan. And I've been trying to find Get My Cha in Singapore, like Get My Cha Latte. I cannot find this cream cheese foam on the top. You don't sound like you're a bubble tea hater. Well, I might be a convert. Today you're opposite. like, he's like the secret lover. What is cane roasted? Like roasted cane juice? Right, so they say they roasted their black tea with sugar cane. So you might get a hint of like cane, sugar cane taste. Oh, okay. Sounds so premium. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my Guys, god, I hope you say nice. I passed away already. Oh my god. Because <laughs> right now the Gemai Cha tastes not very strong. It tastes quite diluted actually. I wish it was thicker. Maybe I will go to the store and try a freshly made drink. Meanwhile. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, how roasted can it be, you know? Mm. <laughs> then, then when I drink, I was like, Whoa. <sighs> Then there are like rice bits inside also. I think this is the best bubble tea I ever had. You know what? We should revisit this. Yeah, I... Mm. Rating first, like, does it matter the price? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Nine, no! <laughs> oh my god, it's so it's good. Nice. Oh my god, I will buy this again. Any drink that has a lot of cream or milk, mm. I'm not a fan. Maybe five. It might be a bit of a unfair judging right now because it's a few hours after they bought it. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. 7.90. Oh, I, I was going to say 7.50. 10 out of 10 ready. Okay, take my money. Machi Machi. Endorsed by Jay Chow, mm. local singers Yu Jae Lee and Hong Chun Yang are the co-owners ah. of Singapore's outlet. Maybe it should, should be an 8 eh. Let it go, let it go. It's okay. 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 Sometimes we just need to let things go, you know. We kind of ah. want to... If I try it and then I feel like it deserves more, I'll comment in the video. Mm. Oh! Look at the layer! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's ah. a pudding! Oh, it's thick. Mmm! Mmm! The pudding itself, very sweet. But the strawberry part, I think it's okay. Every sip of this drink is going to be so thick. Okay, I feel like you hardly can tell that there's a liquid profile. Right, it just right. feels like it's like panna cotta strawberry cake smoothie. It tastes like fresh strawberry. Yeah, I agree with that. So I like that. It's like what Chow said, it's too sweet. Maybe because JJ Lin is a very sweet man, then his <laughs> drinks need to be sweet. Hey, JJ Lin, please. Nah. <laughs> I hope you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> if they just serve panna cotta as a dessert in the store, I would buy it. The pudding is extremely soft. Yeah. A bit like steamed egg. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. A bit, a bit, a bit. I wouldn't say this is very refreshing. It's more of like a dessert. 8.90. 8.50. I'm gonna say 8. It is 8.60. Oh, wow. It's expensive. Yeah. Something you would expect lah. Okay, okay, okay. Because with the panna cotta ma. But will you buy again? I wouldn't. I will give this a 4.5 out of 10. Hmm, I'll give it a 6 uh. 2 points for JJ Lin. <laughs> 5 six. out of 10. Yeah. Just pass. Oh, okay, that's interesting. 
I think this one got chance. Don't choke, huh? Should I drink it? I saw her face already. Wow, the plum. Oh, the plum is crazy, is so bro. Strong. Wow, wow, wow! It hit me like a truck. Is it refreshing? Hmm. Good jelly texture. Soft. Still a bit of a bite. I like very much how simple the drink is. The plum jelly, that good. What the? <gasps> Can they sell the plum jelly to 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 koi, please? <laughs> Actually, I cannot really taste the green tea inside. The plum much, right, yeah. is overpowering the taste. It's like plum wine already. Yeah. Omeshu. Right, right Omeshu already. I <laughs> tell you. I have a question, legit one. How on earth did they fit this plum <laughs> through yeah. this hole? How did they even fit the pudding inside? Well, jelly is liquid until you put it in the fridge oh. and it just pours in. So smart. I don't think I'm very smart, you know. <laughs> I don't think I'm stupid, so let's just take it as you're smart. <laughs> it, 860. 690. Yeah. I'm gonna guess 720. It's 720! Uh, oh, okay. okay. Maybe because we have panna cotta. Panna right. cotta is a whole dessert itself. 8 out of 10. <gasps> 5 Six, out of 10. Uh, I didn't know how to read the Chinese <laughs> This looks like something that's going to be very thick. So the tea base and the salty flavour of the foam, right? Kind of blended well together lah. I think if you blended a tiramisu, this is what you'll get. Very milky, very thick, very sweet. It does not taste like tiramisu to me actually. Oh, okay. I mix I mix huh? We mm. try both sides now. Because I feel like there's a lot of things at the bottom. A bit of like the tea fragrance, but like it's, it's no, yeah. no great tea kind of it's thing. It's not la. very full body or something. Right. Tiramisu has this alcoholic taste yep, to it. Yeah, that's right? right. I don't get that here. Yeah. Does not really taste like coffee either. If they really put coffee inside, I feel like it will really change the flavor profile of the whole drink. Is it brown sugar or something? This is the bottom layer. Is it brown sugar? It's brown sugar! Oh! Like, oh my god! I think it just looked like tiramisu. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god! 750. Because Same. I think it, it looks expensive. 780. 780. I saw 80. the sticker just now. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> This one I have to pull down a bit. Lah. I would say a 4. 4.5 out of 10. 3 oh. out of 10. I think also like knowing the price is at 80. Ah, mm. I really won't buy it. Leh. That is weird la. That is weird. I don't like this already. It got coffee. This but one got coffee. Got, got flour also. <laughs> oh yeah. First layer. Whoa, coffee. It's a bit cow. Hmm. So I thought like it will be very florally or like perfume kind of like drink. But actually the coffee taste is very strong. I think the osmentus just adds like a honey-like yeah. addition mm. like that la. Because I've tried the osmentus tea from Chi Cha, the taste is very different. Mm. Because that one is like real osmentus tea I feel. I do want to give it credit, it really tastes like what it says it is. And if you're a coffee lover right, you, you might find it nice. Wow. Six dollars. I feel like they will sell these for seven dollars. Six ninety. It is six eighty. Oh, mm. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. That's very expensive for a coffee thing. It is, eh? Yeah. I'd rather you go and buy from a shop that sells coffee. Do these bubble tea drinks right differ very much from the bubble tea drinks I usually drink on a day to day or week to week basis? I think it changed my favorite bubble tea right now. <laughs> That's all. But my thoughts in bubble tea is still the same. No, I still love bubble tea. No, I still don't like bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Get Get my my job. Job. <laughs> that Woo! one, that one, that one. Actually, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah like, actually. The and, guava too. Ah, the guava too also like second is koi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think everything turned out as I expected. I was surprised that there's get my child. I'm sorry. I need to go back and then I'll let y'all know if it's still what I rated or higher. Oh my god, but amazing discovery made today is plum jelly. I mean, my god. Yeah, plum jelly. Good my child. This one yeah, don't need to ask already. You know why yeah, it's one of the it's one six forty. It's one of the cheapest of today's list. It has like toppings inside the, the mm. rice lad. Then there's also foam must wow. buy. Pink meteor, six ninety. I think that was the most worth it. They also used fresh fruits and they had mm. extra toppings like jelly. Definitely much more worth it than the very first fruit tea that we drank. Why is it still here? <laughs>
Oh, I don't have an answer for this. I do think that some are overpriced because of the size or the taste and everything, right? But it's still the amount that I will pay to try for the ah. first time. Okay, Etty, Etty. Yeah, if we really love these two drinks that you guys like randomly Maybe pick or whatever, the right? Rest also the rest nice. also will be very nice. Add tea. Add tea. And maybe not try others, but I'll go back to Machi Machi to get the plum jelly. Jasmine, ah. pretty. Larry would definitely go to Koi Signature. Yeah, I will make it a pre drinking place before <laughs> I go to the club. Oh I God. tell you, you oh. see me at Koi Signature, right? Ooh, drinking all the shots, you know. 150, 150. <laughs> 150, oh. Thank you for watching this episode of Taste Testers. If you liked it, don't forget to watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. bye. You are my worthy lover now. Gamma Chao. Gamma Chao Li. Gamma Chao Li.